Good morning. I am back. And I'm back this morning because I'm going to make Jamaican chicken feet. I don't know why I want to say pig feet. I'm not used to saying chicken feet. I just don't know. But I'm going to get with you and I'm going to show you how we do this here. Okay, y'all? First off, we have these chicken feet. Okay? Sometimes the chicken feet come with a coating on top. You have to remove that coating. Okay? Now, these are the chicken feet. Okay? Look like real fingers right there, don't it? Look at that. Look at that. Look like real hands. But you have to cut this tip off right here because if a child or something eat that, you don't want nothing to happen to your child. And plus, that makes your dish really, really ugly. Okay? So, you have these. You just take it and you just nip it off. Just nip it off right there. Just cut off, cut off the tip of it where the nail left. Just cut it on off and it's good. Okay, then I'm going to show you right here. Then over here, I have some vinegar water. I put some vinegar in there. I put about one tablespoon of vinegar. And I'm going to, let me wash my hands real quick. Then I'm going to put uh, do the lemon. You have vinegar and you have one whole lemon. This is how you wash your chicken. Okay? When you're doing this head dish. This is how you clean your chicken up. Lemon and vinegar water. Okay? So that's the way how you do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish cutting this here off right here and then I'll be back. So now let me show you the seasonings I have. I have one whole onion chopped up, okay? I have three garlic cloves chopped up. You can get it diced, if you, I mean crushed. If you wanna use crush, use crushed garlic. This, okay, now this is ginger. You're gonna take the ginger you can use Crush ginger or chopped ginger, but I just diced this here on up here. All right, this is my carrots, one carrot. This is green onion, these scallops. These are green onions, okay? This is three tablespoons of cooking oil. Thyme. You're gonna need uh, a half a teaspoon of thyme. Salt. You're gonna need a teaspoon of salt. Turmeric. You can either use turmeric or curry powder, whichever one, okay? And this is one tablespoon and a half of turmeric, okay? Now, they have these peppers right here that you can buy, okay? But I, I didn't wanna go to the exotic place to get them. So I went to a, um, where did I find this at? I found this at a African store. It's Scotch Bonnet Pepper Powder. So, you can have this kind right here. I'm gonna have all this here put up on, on my book. But I went to an African store and found this. And I'm gonna use me about one tablespoon of the Scotch pepper powder, okay? And this I bought at an African store. It says Caribbean. So I think it was kind of a little different. It's all purpose seasoning, okay? I'm using me about one tablespoon of that, okay? I might change it up after I cook it all. Now, 
This is pimento berries, all right? So these are dry pimento berries. If you can go somewhere and find you some fresh ones, that'll be good too. But I'm using about six of those berries, okay? Now, I done took everything off my chicken feet. Make sure I don't say pig feet. But I took everything off of my chicken feet. Now what we're going to do first, we're going to put our onion in. All our onion going in. The garlic going in. Because this is going to have to season up for about 30 minutes. So put it away in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And let it go ahead on season up. That was my turmeric I just put in. This is my carrots I'm putting in. My onion, my green onion I'm putting in. Okay. My thyme is going in. My salt is going in. My turmeric is going in. Okay. All this here is going in there. Because all this here is going to have to season up. This is my scotch bonnet peppers that's going in. All purpose seasoning that's going in. The berries are going in. Okay, so all this is gonna go into there. You mix all this here up and you let it sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes so all the flavor can go through there. Okay, all this is going to sit in. So all your flavor goes in there. Okay, and then when it's time to cook it, I will be back. So in this pot right here, I have three tablespoons of oil. Okay, I have a half a teaspoon of curry powder. And I have two bay leaves chopped up. Okay, so this is going to cook in here. Going to cook in here until it turns brown. Okay, we're going to let this here cook on up in here until this have a color to it. It's going to get dark until it gets a little dark. I have it on medium, so medium to me is six. So I have it on medium, so when this here starts getting dark, then I'm going to take and I'm gonna put my chicken in and then we're going to cook the chicken feet, okay? Okay, now the grease is smoking, okay? So now we're gonna add all of your marinated chicken in there. Not your carrot, just your chicken. Because when your grease starts smoking, some, when your grease starts smoking that you have in there, then you add all your seasonings to it. And you let the here cook in there until the meat starts pulling back from it. About three minutes or so. You're only cooking in there for about three minutes. So we're just going to cook this here in here for about three minutes. And then we're going to add our liquid. I mix turmeric and curry powder together. The curry powder I took and I uh, put it in uh, with the grease. So that's only going to cook for about three, about three minutes. And then when you add your cooking oil, then you let it cook for about uh, 50 minutes, 50 to 60 minutes, almost one hour. And until the 
till the curry start getting kind of thick. Then you cut it off. Okay. So we have about one more minute for it to cook. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix chicken broth in there with it and water. All right. So I just want to let y'all know. So now what I'm going to do, I have one cup of chicken broth that I'm putting in. We're going to put enough liquids in there to uh, cover the chicken. Okay, it's just going to be enough liquids to cover the chicken. So we want it where it's going to cover the chicken. We're going to cook it on medium. Let me see how much more chicken broth I have in here. If I have a cup of chicken broth. Yeah, I do. So that's one more cup of chicken broth. Then I'm gonna, that was two cups of chicken broth that's in there. Let me put one more cup of water. And that was about three cups of water and two chicken broth. So all I'm gonna do now is just let it simmer on up here on six. You're gonna cook it on medium, all right? So while it's cooking on medium, then I'll be back with you, okay? While it's cooking on medium, I'll be back. Okay, so now this is cooked half of the way. And since it is cooked half of the way, now we're gonna add the carrots the rest of the way. Okay, 60 minutes, the other 30 minutes, the carrots are added into that and cooked into that. Okay? So when this hill gets a little thicker, then it's going to be ready. All right, then. Guess what? I'm finished. I am so, so, so finished. Now, this right here is called Jamaican chicken feet. Okay? It's made with a yellow sauce to it. Okay? Now, this is Jamaican pig feet. I'm not pig feet. Why well, I want to call it pig feet? Chicken feet. Got to put it into my vocabulary. Jamaican chicken feet. So this is it. And this is the way it turned out. So just want to show everybody the way it looked. This is another way for the for the young lady um, that asked me to cook this here for her. These chicken, wheat, chicken feet for her. And that's what I told you. I told you I was going to do another version for you. And this is another version. Now, I'm going to show you one more version that I want to put together for you. And I want to show it to you. Okay? So, bon appetit, baby, and have a beautiful one.